energy. People are becoming more and more interested in climate change, trying to learn more about it. In this week's segment of Global Warming Factor Fiction, we speak with the experts who explain why getting those facts is more difficult than you might think. If you look online and try to get answers on climate change, it's next to impossible to find one study that agrees with the other. Uh, there are uh, some uh, uh, graphs that show that there is a lag of about 800 years between uh, you know, the temperature rise on a global scale and carbon dioxide rise. Uh, however, there are other uh, graphs and other data that uh, uh, you know, prove uh, the opposite. And when you speak with scientists that focus on the atmosphere, the divide continues. Every line of evidence that we examine has showed that natural causes cannot explain what we have seen happen, particularly over the last 50 years. And, in fact, that human causes are the only explanation that we can find that makes sense. I think that the evidence to counter that is much stronger when you look at natural cycles like El Nino, PDO, sunspot activities, volcanic activities. So this raises the question. As our nation's leaders push legislation, which some say could be devastating to our economy, how are we supposed to know right from wrong? Dr. Anthony Lupo says it can't be found on the web, and it definitely will be found on your TV. The Maldives is on the front lines of expected global climate change, at risk of being submerged by rising sea levels within a century. Dr. Lupo says that man-made climate change isn't near as big a problem as certain groups make it out to be. That includes a number of high-profile personalities, environmentalists, and yes, the media. Heating up fast and we have ourselves to blame. They would say that there are a lot of elements in the media that misinterpret this because, one, they don't understand uh, science as well as they should, and two, th th their agenda is very similar to those who are, uh, who are pushing uh, for these changes to be made on the basis of these climate predictions. But when you get down to the root of the problem, fingers point to a select group of scientists. There are some scientists out there who clearly have an agenda, and there are some politicians that clearly have an agenda. Lupo says a lot of the scientific data has been misconstrued to meet the needs of politicians, and for some scientists looking to get some extra funding from the government. Bill is being used to back the ideas and beliefs of our nation's leaders. There are going to be those who cynically claim, make cynical claims that uh, contradict the overwhelming scientific evidence when it comes to climate change. Claims whose only purpose is to defeat or delay the change that we know is necessary. He's a smart fella, but, you know, I would never claim to know as much about law as he does. And conversely, I don't think he knows too much about science. So. Now, while the facts are hard to find, politicians are still taking action, promoting alternative energy policies meant to clean up the planet, possibly at America's expense. Join me again on Monday as I take a look at the current legislation being presented in Washington and what it could mean for the local economy. All right, thank you, Mike.